Hi, Terry here from lowvision.co.uk. Um, funny old day today, really. Um, I went to the Living with Sight Loss course, day one of, of two days, um, facilitated by the RNIB. Um, and for the last week or two, I've been quite excited about it and looking, looking forward to it, really. Um, but last night I started to get just a little bit anxious about it and then this morning as I was going there um, felt quite nervous really and I wasn't sure why um, but I got there and when I went into reception I said I was there for the living with sight loss course and the guy behind the desk um, didn't know anything about the course so that threw me to start with um, and got me into a little bit of a spin really but that was all, all sorted out and the course started and it, and it was great the facilitator was great really friendly um, very personable and everybody that was there was was really good um, the whole group was quite diverse in that um, there were people like myself um, with, with partial sight loss, um, other people with severe sight loss, severely vision impaired, um, and there were people there with with white canes, using the canes, there were people there with guide dogs, and also some partners of visually impaired people were there as well, because they need to learn um, how to deal with, with their partners. Um, and lots of different people there from different arms of the RNIB talking about different elements and different things that they can do. Like I said, it was very positive and people gave their their versions, their, their stories of, of how they came to lose their sight um, and what they do to make things easy for themselves. So it was a great sharing experience as well. Everybody had an opportunity to say their piece, which was brilliant, and some chose to participate, some chose not to participate, um, which, which is absolutely fine. But I came away feeling quite flat, really, and quite down, and I couldn't work, work out why, because they gave you lots of information. It was nice to hear that other people were fine and how they cope, and they gave their their views really on how you can make things better for yourself but like I say I felt flat and I felt quite depressed um, and I just couldn't work out why that was earlier to today and I've been doing nothing but thinking about it really um, since I got back home and I think the crux of it is that being with a group of people in the same position as myself um, and worse than the position that I'm in as well I think it's kind of brought it home now as, as a reality um, up to now I've been researching lots and lots about sight loss about help that's out there and, I, and I've received loads of help from friends from family and sort of from organizations as well and, and that's been really positive that's been brilliant but I'm just wondering whether I thought I'd accepted it and because everything was going really, really well, it, it was going brilliantly and I was quite upbeat about it all. Um, but now I think it has made me realise that it, it is real um, and reading about it and researching it isn't going to live the life for me. I, I, I need to do that and I need to make the most of the resources out there. Of course I do. Um, but I think it's made me think that maybe I'm at the beginning of some kind of bereavement, if you like, because sight loss is a loss like anything else. It, it's something that was there that no longer is. Um, I'm not sure what I'm making sense really, but I think that's why I feel how I do at the moment, because 
I have realized that I've lost something um, and it's coming to grips with it. So I, it'd be interesting to see what other people think really. Um, and I think in a day or two's time, I'll pick myself up, dust myself down and get on with things again, uh, full of vigor and, and, and just get cracking with it. There's the second day next Friday. So again, that'll be interesting to see how I feel after that one. But to reiterate, everybody was really positive. It, it, it was good. It was great. Um, and I enjoyed the day. But like I say, I couldn't understand why I was feeling like I was. But I've come away with lots of information. Um, so tomorrow I'm going to pick through um, and just start to concentrate on little little elements of the information that I've picked up on and build on where I was before I went to the course. This really isn't making sense and it's me just, just talking out loud, um, thinking out loud. But I just thought I'd document it um, because if I leave it a day or two and document it then, then I'll probably trivialise today and not get my true feelings across. Um, so there we go. That That's it. Um, like I said, it'll be interesting to hear your comments and I will post again shortly with an update of where I am. Thanks for watching. See you later.